Freedom for Animals' recent undercover investigation at Cumbria Safari Zoo, formerly known as South Lake Zoo, revealed numerous incidents of health and safety issues. Since the tragic death in 2013 of a zookeeper who was killed by a tiger as a result of a faulty door lock, very little infrastructure appears to have been updated. Keepers still appear at risk, and a baboon was able to enter an enclosure while a keeper was inside cleaning it. Despite the tragic history of health and safety failures, the zoo's attitude is worryingly casual. Keepers joke about it, including the possibility of bears escaping when their claws can be seen under the shed, seemingly just wanting to be let outside. It's hard, it's like, the man of the zoo going to work and be killed. Right. You forget it is kind of a risk to take. Not that you'd assume, like, if a lot does my fancy, it's such as you've forgotten to do something. It's I remember easy. every day going in that bear field morning and banging on the door. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Today, or a little gap, and you could just see her claw going like this. <laughs> He's like, one of these days, <laughs> 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 The likes to absolutely uh, drive you insane when you're inside. <laughs> Smashes the door. <laughs> to go out. But you're like, no, I've got to clean. Sits their boot in it. <laughs> you're in there. One keeper claims he is even allowed to go into the bear den alone. This shortcut was said to be signed off as a lack of cameras in the corridor means there'd be no evidence if something went wrong. Basically, I'm not signed off on the bad corridor yet, so I can't, well, I think technically I shouldn't be going in there on my own, but the kids sitting around don't give me access. I think it's more because there's cameras, and the cameras don't want to go the way around. I'm saying people are like here, but certainly wouldn't be able to tell if they're in there with me anyway. Well, the only thing is because Kim says she says she knows that I'm perfectly safe to be in there, um, but as I'm not signed off yet, if something bad was to happen, like if I, a bear was to grab me, which wouldn't happen, was, and I've not been signed off, it's the zoo that gets bollocks for it. Despite being told that lemurs have reportedly frozen to death when left outside overnight, the routine for bringing them inside appears to be very casual, with lax headcounts. How many? There should be more, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got oh, six in there, that's 13. That makes 15. Yeah, so I should have that That's six. In which case, I'll leave this pen open because the rest should turn up. Our investigator was even asked to guide them into areas with their hands, risking injury if the animals responded negatively. Just want to try and get them to put that. All right, go on then. One of the lemurs, Pip, was reported as feeling unwell by zoo staff and possibly suffering from either leptospirosis or liver fluke, both infectious diseases. A keeper attempts to bring them down by climbing the apparatus in the enclosure before following basic health and safety measures by asking a colleague to bring a ladder. Yeah, it wasn't designed for me to be climbing around. Lemurs are the worst for grabbing them. Because they're ridiculously strong and they just grab everything. Join us in calling on Westmoreland and Fairness Council to listen to our demands to close down this zoo and rehome the animals to appropriate sanctuaries. Please share this video, sign our petition, and support local demonstrations and outreach events.